Hi there everybody, welcome to Divergent Reactions. My name is Neurodiversity. I'm a neurodivergent father to two neurodivergent kids. I've got ADHD, suspected autistic and dyspraxic. And you can follow me on all these socials up here, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And we've got a Patreon. Now Divergent Reactions is all about reacting to stuff a bit differently or whether it hits different, whether it's to do with being neurodivergent or something completely that doesn't, it's not related. It might not be related to neurodiversity. So it could be about anything. Um, we're just trying. We're just trying a few different things and see what happens. It's just about opening our minds to stuff. You know, that's the whole point about being different. You've got to be open to stuff and listen and soak it all in, and show the kind of the 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 variety of what what's available out there. Now, the next video I've got is from a Japanese band that I'd never heard of until I was watching these reaction videos, and I saw one of their videos. Um, and I was blown away by it. It was this one. So I've only seen it once, but I'm going to watch it again because I want to take it all in properly rather than just watching the reaction of somebody who I've never seen the video of in the first place. So let's have a look and see. This is called Save Yourself by 1OK Rock. So let's have a look at it and see how awesome it is. Save yourself. Love is that hits like it did last time. Will. You've never failed. Waves this strong, just save yourself. I like to sink or swim, but you can't even dive right in. Save yourself. If you're drowning in your doubt, save yourself. They, they, I've only heard this song once, and it hits exactly the same as it did last time. It's just like, it's it's just that voice that is incredible, and also that jump that never fail. I'm not much of a singer, by the way, but I try. That da 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 da. If, I, if I'm right, it's like a uh, like a sixth or something musically. But yes, oh, it's incredible. It's so good. Like you don't expect it to go that high, and it goes that high, and it's just like, oh, I I love this. Um, I went on my honeymoon to Japan. It's a beautiful country. I love Japan. So you might see me reacting to quite a few Japanese videos because I love Japan. I loved everything about it where we went. It was incredible. It's a beautiful place. And it's the only place I've ever been outside of Europe and probably maybe the only place I'll ever go outside of Europe because money. But it's just it's so, just, oh, it's a beautiful place. I love it. And they bring it, they, just J-Rock is, especially social media and the stuff that like bands like Baby Metal have done for the, for Japanese music has just been, exposure just been incredible. This is awesome. No, you don't need me that's okay drift away it's like it's almost like he's saying that's fine you drift away it's like that's your problem not my problem it's like a kind of like okay well you know you're you're going downhill sort of thing it's like obviously wants to help um save yourself yeah i'm not gonna look too deep into this song i'm pretty sure it's a fairly self-explanatory song but like also that 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 is incredible. Where is that? If anybody knows where that is, let me know. Is that in Japan? Is that somewhere else? That's like, shush. My phone needs to shush. Don't turn it off. Shh. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Silence. Um. Yeah. And I, I love the just the, the vibe that they're giving off. It's just nice. It's like really good. Me, that's okay.
there's something really that's gonna really annoy some people that I've cut it off there. <laughs> this so that even though this is like a really modern song, it's got that guitar part is like that could have been lifted out of like two thousand and two from like the music I was listening to. Like that kind of early noughties rock when I was a teenager, like da 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 It's like um I uh, that was that was the start of a darkness song, wasn't it? Um it's like da 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 ba 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 that kind of vibe like staccato riffing. It's not your traditional punk rock emo style riff, it's more of a it's a bit older than that and I kinda like it. I like it. And the the whole it's it there's like enough oh, fueled by ramen I've just noticed in the corner, so classic emo pop punk label. But yeah, this is this this ticks every box of me. It's a good mix of like new and old. That's very modern. Hang on, if he's really if she's running from a hurricane. Why is she heading towards a tornado? Or is that a hurricane? Is that is that that's that's a we don't get them over here. Is that a tornado or a hurricane? Let me know. That looks like a tornado. I don't know the difference. What is the difference? Somebody tell me what the difference is. Anyway, either way, she's not running from a hurricane. She's walking towards one. Anyway, that's where my brain went with that. Hurricane, I set fire to the rain. I want to be a lifeline, babe. I got tired and you got brain. I will drop my face. You will change up. Is that, is that, every time, like, I didn't even realise he'd done it in the verse as well, the first time I heard it, but that, da 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 is that, six, I, if you know your music, six, five, three, two, one, like, da 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 it does it there, and it just, it hits different, I don't hear, I don't think I hear many songs doing that, and I think that's what makes it stand out, he goes for a different note to everybody else. Where he goes, oh, over it, that bit, over it, just that, what, I'm going to, one more time, I'll carry on. That bit, love it. <laughs> Oh, I quite like the way the that bit mixed up the rhythm a little bit. I think it was to do with the lyric. So they made that. I think if I'm right, I'll listen again. They made the music fit the lyric, which were, I love that kind of stuff. Love is pain, I know too well. You can't fail. Wait, this don't just say Got to pause it, but that that's the end of the song. But I love the bit. I'm gonna do, do it again. This bit here. 
I love there's a lot to be said for silence in a song. I think too many bands don't do silence in songs enough. And I was guilty of it when I used to write songs like back in the day and try to and fail nowadays. But like not put not putting silence in songs is like people should put more silence in songs. Like this bit here. Just gives it more impact. Mix it up. Ooh, that harmony was off. That little harmony was nice. Ugh, that, that, ugh. Doesn't sound like that, by the way. It doesn't sound that bad. But just like the little details. Less is more sometimes. And that, that was perfect. That was just hit the spot. Such a good song. I love that song. I've only heard it once till now, and I love it. That's the second time I've listened to it. It's been brilliant. So, yes. Hi that's another one. Oh, welcome back hello. To the uh, we, uh, I, could, I could react to a UK reactor reacting to another song, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, even though I do watch him, and I quite like his videos. It's quite good. Um, yes, thank you very much again. That was awesome. I love that song. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'll do more of this kind of videos if you want to see it. Drop some comments. Let me know what you want to see. And all that stuff that people do on these channels. Thank you. Bye-bye. And maybe one day I'll sort of squeak out my chair. But for now, ciao.